Hello everybody. Just want to say a quick couple of things before we get into this episode. Uh, first of all, even though this video shows us pretty far south in Barra de Navidad, in reality we're sitting in La Paz right now, which is quite a ways north. And by the time you see this video, we'll actually be even farther north up in the Sea of Cortez for hurricane season. Uh, once we leave La Paz, internet access is zero. It's just non-existent. Uh, actually, in Mexico, internet access has been really difficult for us. We generally use our cell phones as a hotspot to upload these videos. And uh, once we leave La Paz, cell phone coverage, internet access, all that sort of thing is zero. So, if you want to see what we're up to in real time, you can go to our Facebook page and we're able to post updates with our little satellite device and you can actually go to the link below to see where we're at in real time again through the beauty of satellites. So uh, the other thing I want to say is thanks to everybody who chipped into our little giving back fundraiser. We wouldn't be able to do near as much without your help. Uh, we were able to buy bunches of backpacks, school supplies, art supplies, glasses, and soccer balls to give out to kids as we go up the Sea of Cortez this summer. Again, thanks for your help. We wouldn't be able to do near as much without it. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. In our last episode, we checked out Mexico's Kalima volcano. This time around, we grab our good friends and head to Manzanillo. But first, we've got to take care of a few chores. Well, we're still in Bar de Navidad. Uh, we've been here for maybe a week and a half or so and we need some water so uh, we've got a water maker but this lagoon we're anchored in is pretty funky uh, it's we could in theory run the water maker but it's nasty so to get water there's actually a service they'll come out to the boat drop these big jugs off they're i guess about a buck fifty a piece for five gallons so it's not too bad and we siphon it in the tank pretty simple and it's kind of nice because we don't have to listen to the water maker or run it with all his funk. This place is pretty nasty. It's thick. And there's crocodiles. Nobody wants to make water where there's crocodiles. After filling up the tank, I called my good friends Jason and Mike on the radio and we were off. A quick five minute dinghy ride from the anchorage puts us out in front of Barra de Navidad with some pretty fun waves. Because life can't be all about doing chores. After catching quite a few waves and taking a few tumbles, it was time to call it quits because it can't be all about fun and games. After a couple hours of surfing, it was time to get back to work. Today we're going grocery shopping. we got Marilyn, our good friend from Seattle, mm -hmm. who just happens to be here. Jason and Jen on Danica, also from Seattle. And us. So there's supposed to be a fancy store in Malacca, which is the next town over. It's got treats from the States, which Brenda really wants. Costco. <laughs> They've got it has Costco products. Jackpot. Cheese. Oh. We've missed cheese. cheese. Oh. And treats. So we hopped on what we like to call a chicken bus. For about 40 cents, we get a hot and uncomfortable ride, which may or may not include chickens on board, all the way to the neighboring town of Malake. Got a hot ride? Yeah. And once we make it to Malake, load up with groceries from the best stocked grocery store we've seen since Puerto Vallarta. They had everything. 
jackpot. So that. And since we're in a different town, we've got to go get some lunch. Some tacos on the water, well, that'll do just fine. And after lunch, it's back on another chicken bus, back to Barra de Navidad to unload our backpacks. And since the night is still young, we head back into town to see a pretty amazing band and make plans to head to Manzanillo the following day. And after an amazing band, you gotta go for an amazing dessert. The best dessert in the world? Churros. Made right on the street. Jeff gets churros every single night. <laughs> we, we're trying to get him to stop. I think he has an addiction. It's crazy. Do you think he has a problem? Do you think I have a couple of problems too. Get the small bag or the large bag? Yeah, he usually and gets get the them. largest bag. And, he, and bag. he doesn't share them with any of us. Deep fried bread. Covered in sugar and cinnamon. Who doesn't like that? Oh, Jeff sharing. This Thanks is the first Jeff time. Thanks for sharing your churros <laughs> with a special treat. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's delicious. All right, today we're going to Manzanillo, and we're not on a chicken bus. We got our good friends Jason and Jen. Field trip day. So. The exciting thing about this bus is it's four bucks. We could take a chicken bus for Ten, seven pesos. Seven pesos, or we can take living it up in lap luxury bus for seventy-five pesos with our good friends. Who wouldn't want to do that? And we get free water. Yep. It's called the jackpot. And we can watch TV. Jason's already getting going. We got a good smush sandwich. There's really nothing wrong about this bus. It's all good. Mystery Look at that sandwich. Who wouldn't yeah. want to eat that? We have Wi-Fi. Bimbo bread. And they have Wi-Fi. Whoever did my sandwich didn't try very hard. It looks beautiful. They, they couldn't even unfold the ham. <laughs> Delicious. All for less than four dollars. Can't beat it. We love Mexico. For the next hour and a half, we wound our way to Manzanillo where we got dropped off in the middle of nowhere. Made it to Manzanillo. We think. We think. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I still can't believe we got a bus ride for about an hour and a half for less than four dollars that came with a crappy sandwich and a bottle of water. Following Jason and his iPhone. I have a feeling we're lost, but he's determined to get us somewhere. Bus stop drop us off in the middle of nowhere. So, we're trying to find our way to the exciting stuff. About a mile, I think, a mile to walk. After following Jason and his phone for about a mile, we made it to downtown Manzanillo, where we did what we do best, wander aimlessly. While we were roaming, we found this place. It's where all the locals eat, and we just had to try it. This right here will kill you. It will kill you dead. Fire. Shrimp fajitas for about three bucks. Gracias. Hasta luego. That was delicious. After lunch, we were back to roaming around. We 
made our way through the city, and then finally stumble upon this place. Found the big market. It smells really good in here. All the fresh produce. This part doesn't smell very good. Oh, the crabs. I see these crabs swimming around all the time. And then we found the view from the top. Downtown Manzanillo. When we felt like we had a pretty good feel for Manzanillo, we decided to hop in a taxi and head over to the neighboring town of Santiago. Within minutes of arriving in Santiago, we found this place. Tom Brenda store. We roamed through town, checked out the beaches, and after a pretty full day, decided it was time to head home. Since we were in a different town, we had to take a different bus back to Barra de Navidad. the survival and that's about it for this episode thanks for watching see you next time hola see when I count up to Kenya Kenya muy bien